Well, Church, I want to thank you so much for allowing us as your representatives from Victory to come to Belize and be involved with one of our missionaries, one of our amazing missionaries here. And this is Junior. He's been in Belize for how long now, Since Junior? Since 17. Since 2017. And uh, I want to let him tell you a little bit about what we did this week and uh, what we continue to do by being involved in his ministry. Thank you, Victory Baptist Church, for coming alongside of me and my wife to represent Christ in Belize, Central America. We are very appreciative of the prayer and monetary support that makes it happen. You know, your faith promise commitment is very, very important to many, many missionaries. And we're thankful for that. And so we were thankful that you guys sent this team down to work alongside of us for uh, a week. And what, what got accomplished was the church got painted and which was a much needed thing, but we had Bible school and they got to invest in our youth got to invest in our adults and we're grateful for what God accomplished. We've seen some salvations, we've seen some encouragement, but most of all, we know that Christ was glorified among the nation here in Belize. And we know that the eternal difference will be shown in the future. And so we're grateful and thankful for all that you've done. And thank you again for continuing to support us. So here in Belize, I had the opportunity to teach our classes each morning on the armor of God to these children. And uh, they're so receptive to it. Um, but the other thing that we deal with a lot here is there's spiritual warfare. There are so many other churches, false churches, right here down the road that are just constantly feeding false truths. Uh, but it was awesome to see these children hungry for God's word. Uh, we even got to hear the uh, one of the young girls that attends this church um, get to share her faith with another child and share what she knows about the Bible. We just got to come alongside a healthy, spirit-filled church. Some of the people I got to know this week was uh, this kid named Daniel. He was a uh, kid I met on the first day, and. Honestly, he was one of the best kids. He was hung around me the whole time, followed me around, got to know him a lot. He's just, the people here are truly awesome. The kid has an awesome family, lives by the river. That's one of the best things here was the river, just going to see kids down there. So all the people that, all the kids from BBS went down to the lake and it was just so fun to hang out with them and enjoy the time with them and really just spread the gospel. His favorite things to do was just right here, the Gaga ball play. It was just something that we got to play with the kids and just enjoy time with them. I really got to fellowship with the kids. Even if I didn't get to share the word, it was still showing love to them and showing that they really are loved. Jesus! Who's ready for water day? Jesus! The first is the belt of truth. Yeah. It's the best plate of righteousness. And, and your feet protected by the gospel, the of salvation, and the shield of faith. What'd you do, man? Spill coffee on my toe. Yo, my name's Hayden. Met some really cool people. At Joel. Oh, shout out Jaden Lobos on YouTube. Shout out to Austin, Lil Austin, Crazy Greg, Santiago, and Johan over there. All the kids here, great kids, like fun games, get some cool stuff. Got to be part of their labs for a little bit, get to know them a little bit. You think you'll come back? 100%. Yeah, I hope so. Definitely. <laughs> Good job. Stop. Stop. Don't you get close, Brandon. Okay, okay. I really enjoyed this week getting to meet Haley and talk to her. I really connected with her. And on the last day, she talked about wanting Converse to start school. And I had exactly brought that pair of shoes with me to give away. So I was able to give her a pair of shoes. It's so um, exciting. She named them. Her shoes are Sally. And I just love that when we asked the girls when we had our time with them what they were thankful for, almost every single girl said family. It wasn't material things. They were thankful for their family. If you're thinking about doing a mission trip, just do it. If your wife says that we're doing a mission trip, <laughs> say yes. <laughs> and it changes people's lives. I think it was really neat. We came here to serve them. We came here to, um, to you know, help and serve and give and love on them. And they did that back. Um, whether it was the kids here, whether it was the adults here, the people who were part of the ministry, all of them, it was, it was just really amazing to see that. Yeah, I think as you come on a mission trip, you come with a lot of... Um, excitement, um, but also a lot of apprehension. I know one of the things this week that really weighed on me as I was thinking of coming was just the um, amount of heat that we were going to encounter. Um, and it really was, it was a struggle for me mentally to prepare for that because I was like, I know what I'm getting into. I've been through, you know, pl places before on mission trips that are hot and I knew it was just gonna be a tough one, but um, it's amazing. Those things that you think are gonna be insurmountable, God just gets you through. I mean, it is amazing because that wasn't the main focus. Yeah, it's hot. I mean, we, we are definitely melting um, a lot of the day, but there is so much more here on a missions trip. You are, you are, you are investing in these kids and they are just giving back to you and 
you know, the smiles on their faces, the opportunities that you have to just connect on a real level, that surpasses and heat and any other issues that come up. <laughs> you know, any stomach issues any that may sickness. come up. Um, so we're just grateful for the opportunity that we have to be able to come and have this experience with, with these people here in this country. One of the things I got to do uh, was lead a music workshop. We had a blast learning about what worship is and what the Bible says about singing and the command that we have as a church to sing to the Lord, to make a joyful noise to the Lord. And so we learn about singing, we learn about rhythm. Um, and in Belize, they like to clap. <laughs> uh, so we learned uh, what it means to clap on beat, on rhythm. And we had just an incredibly fruitful time um, just together as a church, um, learning how to worship the Lord with the, with the gift of, of music. I've just been uh, able to connect with these kids and just been able to play with them this week and have a bunch of fun while uh, being able to share uh, God's word and um, his love with them. and hopefully extend his kingdom and uh, just rub off on these kids. We've been playing Gaga Ball and we've been to them to a new, uh, couple new American games. So yeah, it's been really fun. I've been able to have some really great conversations with some teenage girls my age and then some younger kids, of course, too. But it's just been really awesome to see how these girls at the beginning of the week, they were just not open to us Americans or receptive to what we had to say. But by the end of the week, we were taking pictures together and having these really awesome conversations about God and about church. We led a sports camp for the first half of the day where we'd have a Bible lesson and then we'd play different various sports with the kids. We met so many little kids and just so many, like even teens, and we met so many and it was so crazy how many kids actually came and were willing to learn. The people here are so open to hearing the Word of God and learning more, and we're really battling a culture of folklore uh, and a lot of cult mindset in Belize, and it's a wonderful thing to see these people come here. You know, we probably had well over 100 people every day, and sometimes the parents would come with the kids, and we were able to connect with several parents as well as um, young adults who are really on the precipice of going out into the world themselves. So we had the opportunity to share and pour into those. And I met a young lady named Roselli, and she and I made a good connection. And we're touching base on Facebook now, so um, we can just continue to pour into some of these folks even after the trip. It was also wonderful to see some of the, the folks who work here regularly also learning and growing so that they're ready to really step up and help Junior and Brandy in this local mission work as well. So while we were at Bullet Tree Baptist Church this week, I got to connect with a lot of the teenage girls. At first, we we're a little shy, but since I'm goofy, I went ahead and told them my embarrassing stories and it broke the ice. Not all of them were interested in sports. Kind of got some one-on-one -on -one time with them. Just asked them about their culture and what they do. And one girl in particular, Bree, she has been coming a lot with Brandy and Junior, and so they said, you know, I feel like she's she's wanting to make a change. Like, they've seen change in her, and they're like, just, can you love on her? I'm like, duh, yeah. <laughs> she was kind of set off from the other girls, but the more and more we got to see her, she'd come with some of us to our excursions and different things we did. So we got to see each other more and more. And one day we sat at the picnic tables after uh, the sermon and I asked her what she'd learned from the sermon or what she thought about it. And she had some really good questions. She asked me why her Bible said something different than what something she found on the internet did. And so I said, well, what, what scripture, what scripture? And so she found it and <laughs> <laughs> then I showed her my translation and her translation was King James and I, she said it's different and I was like well it sounds different but the words are really the same so we talked about different verses and I had her highlight in her Bible different verses that would help her through struggles um, anxieties cares knowing that the Lord loves her um, the fruit of the Spirit then um, I got the opportunity to lead her to salvation and she said a prayer with me and after that you know, you kind of are left in this moment of what's next. Do we have a party? Like, I mean, the heavens are celebrating, but you're in that moment of, okay, well, I don't feel different yet, but you know that change is coming and you welcome the change in because Christ is gonna live in your heart. And that's what she did. Each and every day, more and more kids decided to show up 
There was this one family that lives just by the river. And on the last day, the, the kids we've been feeding into, uh, Ricardo, America, Diani, Chris, uh, they all came down and they brought paint with them. They asked if they could paint my hand and put my handprint on their shirts. So they all brought these old shirts down and they asked if we could sign it. For them to ask us to do that, it was so simple. It just shows that we had some sort of impact on them. Their plan was to hang those shirts up in, the, in their rooms. I'll pray for those kids for many, many years to come. And someday Top Tennessee.